All right, so I got a few um, 65 millimeter style options here. I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the parts that people are using or should use or are going to use. Um, this here is a toothpick. I've shown them on my channel. One thing that I really didn't even notice before, and maybe this will help somebody out there that might not have noticed it either, but <laughs> maybe I'm just an idiot because I seriously did not notice that the tips that stick out past the motors had a fat side and a skinny side. So if you look right here, you can see it's wide right there, and then it's skinny right here. See the difference? So there's two of them that are fat and two skinny ones. So you want the fat ones up front to kind of protect from crashes. Skinny ones in the back. I did not know that before until somebody told me. I never even noticed it. I actually built one of these with the fat parts on the side. <laughs> and I had to move it around. So yeah, be careful of that if you didn't know or if you're not smart. <clears throat> Um, this is the G GEPRC 12 amp flight controller. Uh, so obviously on the toothpick, you would have to put it upside down. So the USB is sticking up. So then you have all of your pads that you need to solder to on the bottom. So you're going to have to solder everything up before you put it onto the frame. Uh, let me pull these motor plugs off and we'll take this thing off of here. I really like to use um, wire cutters for removing these plugs. It just makes it so easy because since there's like a scoop there, you can just grab onto underneath both sides and just pull up so easily. See how easy that is? Okay, so I'm sure you already watched the uh, review videos that Nick did and whoever else did. I only saw Nick's so far, pretty funny. Um, so yeah, you have all your pads right here. I mean, your receiver is so getting soldered up here. Um, your video in and out and power for your VTX and or camera. Um, there is only one five volt. You got one for the receiver, but you don't want to mix them up. So, um, most likely what you're going to do is power your VTX right here and then run your camera power off your VTX. Most people these days, if they have the money, are going to be using the Unify Pro 32, most likely, and the uh, Runcam Nano 2 or Ran Nano Racer, like this one. This is the Racer. So, yeah, it's perfect because it's 5 volts and the Pro 32 takes 5 volts in and has a 5 volt out, so it works out great. Um, you also have a T1 that would be for your... Uh, smart audio and uh the receiver i thought was on uart too there's only two uarts um i'm i thought the rc pad was uart too but i do see a r2 and a t2 right here so i'm thinking that that must be the inverted pad and then if you're running crossfire you would run it off the r2 and t2 right there so uart2 is for the receiver there's your little dsm pads that you would solder together probably to make this uninverted the rc pad um and then your smart audio would be t1 and that's probably yeah that's the best way to go right there then you got your in and out and then five volt on ground so it's just very simple very very simple and works with you know almost all every receiver no pads on this side so after you get that stuff soldered up i mean you could just solder up your vtx right here run the wires out solder up your receiver wires run them out to the side or whatever then you can stick it on to the frame and mount it and go from there um so i was showing those other canopies like this one this is the pickle frame and i was really hoping to be able to let me take this off here to use uh the GEPRC or whatever flight controller the right side up um you know like this since it has the slot for the 
USB. But you can't because GE, PRC, and or Beta FPV decided to change things up, which I have no idea why they would do that. Why would they not make it the exact same as the Crazy Bee so that it would fit everything that the, was made for the Crazy Bee, you know? But they decided to uh, make the motor plugs straight instead of crooked. Actually, you know what? It's probably because they didn't have room. I mean, <laughs> you can see that this is loaded up with shit. So it probably wasn't even possible to make them angled. I mean, obviously, I can see that it wouldn't be possible unless they move some stuff around or whatever, you know, but that's the layout they went with, so it's probably the best that they could do. So now somebody's going to have to come up with a new frame designed around this if this FC ends up being good. Same with the Beta FPV one. It has straight motor plugs as well, but it's not going to work straight, straight up because... <laughs> of those if they were angled they'd you know just like the crazy bee fits on here i already showed that in another video um you could potentially raise it up some but then you know your usb plug isn't going to go through this so there's no point so you know you're going to go upside down but then if you use a canopy like this it's not even going to work because since the plugs aren't angled, you know, if it was angled, it would fit because this is a, a triangle, you know, <laughs> but that's not even the whole, the main problem. The main problem would be that you can't access the USB unless you like cut a, a hole out of this or whatever, you know, so, but this canopy is the answer right here because even though it was designed for the crazy bee, uh, it also works with the GPRC one. So let me show you. I'll just stick this back on here real quick. Making sure I watch which way the front is. So with that on there, put the motor plugs in. The canopy will go right over it even though the plugs are straight and not angled. You can see it just goes right over it. I had this on here. I unscrewed it, but it does fit perfect. Once it's screwed down, it goes over the whole thing. The motor plugs are sticking out the sides right here. You can see it's just perfect. You got the back open for the access to the USB right there. Once this is on there the right way. So this canopy is like the just perfect canopy. For this new shit it fits the uh run cam racer and the nano 2 or any 14 millimeter wide uh you know the eos 2 is probably the only other one um it has little things to run your receiver antennas through they look really small so they might not fit the newer style shorter antennas that fr sky has been putting on their xm pluses and xm and rxsr because those are a little bit thicker but they might fit. If not, I'm sure you could widen the holes and however, you know, or run them, run them somewhere else. But it's pretty cool that they have these. Uh, yeah, it's just perfect in every way. Access to the USB, the motor plugs fit upside down and it fits the badass cameras. So pretty awesome. And this will fit any frame, you know, it's got this, the, whoop style flight controller mounting holes so it fits the toothpick the pickle even the little deuce you can see it lines up just like that um and here's the little deuce it even fits on that lines up with the holes perfectly you could uh, mount it any way you wanted you could use you know standoffs or spacers or or actually i don't even know if you would need to use spacers if you used this flight controller but i'm just showing that it fits even with a 16 by 16 stack fits right over it uh the camera you know everything nothing's hitting anything actually it probably would need to sit up that high to not hit anything so you'd need like five millimeter standoffs 
and then just put screws straight down through the top into the standoffs and it's perfect. Uh, you almost have access to the USB this way, but um, you would have to like cut right here and cut right here. Then you wouldn't be able to mount it to this standoff, but you would still have three standoffs. So you could do that if you really wanted to, but I guess uh, if you really had to access the USB, which basically you would only need to do for updating the firmware or something like that, um, it's not difficult to unscrew four screws a little bit to pop this up. Actually, you could probably unscrew three screws and just pop it up like that. So not a big deal at all. It would take you like 10 seconds to do that. Lil Deuce, I really like this frame. It's pretty awesome. And he has uh, so many different options for canopies and stuff. He's got a lot of new stuff coming out. Uh, make sure you check out Lil Deuce lildeuce.com because uh, he's got some cool shit. This is uh, not my first time seeing this frame. I, I have uh, built a couple other ones before, but I think they might have been earlier versions or something. I don't know, but um, things are always changing, you know. Uh, if anybody's wondering, this is that braided mesh stuff and it's one eighth inch size. Uh, the size that I usually use on like a five inch quad would be uh, like six millimeter. I'm not sure what that is in inches. It might be quarter inch, something like that. Yeah, this is eighth inch. Actually, I think the the six millimeter is three eighths inch. I don't actually. Let me check real quick. If we went six millimeters, battery's dying on this thing, and push inch. Yeah, it's a almost a quarter inch. Okay. So yeah, eighth inch for this stuff though. It's super tiny, not too hard to put on the wires. Kind of a pain, but I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, um, I'll have some videos coming. I'll have some footage of this camera, although there's already reviews of it online. Um, but I will get some and I'll show how I fit the Pro 32 and the XM Plus up under this canopy inside the toothpick and I'll show uh, the canopy that I'm using for this one. I don't have it yet, but it's coming. Got a pickle being built um, with the AMAX motors, uh, the GPRC board. Uh, I'm not sure what else. The Nano 2, but I don't know. I think I'm going to use this canopy, actually. Yeah, this canopy is going to go on here. So, yeah, stay tuned for that stuff. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. All right, thanks.